We're taking a live look at radar, as you can see, still some activity out there. A lot of green moving across the area. It was kind of nice to have a little bit of rain tonight, Kevin, but how long can we expect those showers to stick around? Well, the chance of them will stick around right through the day tomorrow, Janice, and our temperatures over the next few days are going to be cooler. If you like the temperatures in the low to mid 70s, you will like that. Good evening, everybody. I hope your weekend was an enjoyable one. We'll come back to our local radar in just a second. I want to zoom down to around the Florida area and show you what's going on off the east coast of Florida. This was a hurricane. It is now a tropical storm. Tropical storm, a strange or different pronunciation. Isaias is the way this is pronounced. It's spinning off the east coast of Florida as a tropical storm. The biggest threat is going to be just some pounding erosional surf along the east coast of Florida, the southeast United States, and all the way up the east coast, and the potential for some heavy rain, about four to six inches from Florida all the way up uh, to even in the New England area. There may be some higher amounts than that as well. Let's give you the stats on this. Tropical storm, there it is, Isaias, winds at 70 miles per hour. If these had sustained winds at 74 mile per hour, or greater, it would still be a hurricane. It's not expected to strengthen. It should remain tropical storm. It does have gusts at about 85 miles per hour. Current movement is to the north northwest at nine miles per hour. All those registers you see are tropical storm warnings. Let's put this into motion. It stays off the coast of Florida and Georgia and somewhere in northern portions of South Carolina or southern portions of North Carolina right there along the border. It may come ashore sometime in about another 24 to 36 hours as a tropical storm. And then you can see what happens. It just rides that eastern coast as it goes right up through Virginia into D.C., right over New York and then into New England and then eventually the Canadian Maritimes. If you're saying, hey, is that thing going to affect us? Not directly, but indirectly. When there's a hurricane in play or a tropical system as such, this kind of blocks things up. It's like a pipe that gets clogged up and you've got to get in there and call a plumber and clean it out. This puts everything on hold. So the system coming in here is going to slow down and hang over our area until this can move in and out of the area, out of the East Coast and get kicked out of here. So it does have a play into our weather in that sense. But any rain, we're not expecting from that. But we will have shower and some thunderstorm chances overnight and tomorrow as the system moves into and through the area. I'll show you that on future track momentarily. Sharply cooler this week, only in the 70s and then back to the 80s next weekend. As we look at radar, there's not a lot going on. Eaton County has an isolated thunderstorm out there. There's some heavier precipitation with an isolated thunderstorm uh, across uh, not Berrien, uh, Saint, uh, uh, not Berrien or Cass, but St. Joseph County, central and southern St. Joe County there. And then there's more around the Milwaukee area. So some of those move in, may move in overnight. We're not expecting severe weather tonight or tomorrow, but the chance of a shower storm will be there. Here's our current temperatures, upper 60s to low 70s. And as we look back six hours ago, we had some rain showers this morning, and then these have kind of cropped up. There's been some brief heavy downpours for some of us, but that's been about it. There's there's not a lot going on to our north and west, but there is something and there's more that I think will come in here tomorrow. So we'll call it mostly cloudy tomorrow. Some scattered showers, maybe a rumble of thunder around tomorrow. Temperatures around 74 degrees with a northeast wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow's not a good day to be on the beach or on the boat. From Holland southward, we have some small craft advisories and a high beach hazard risk. This is the moderate beach hazard risk. Waves here at about uh, 2 to 3 feet, maybe 2 to 4 feet. Down here, they're going to be in the neighborhood of about 3 to 4 five feet and up in Oceana and Mason County. There's going to be a high beach hazard risk with small craft advisories as well. This is 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. There's the low pressure area riding along that front. So it's this system that's going to take its time to move into and through the area. But there'll be the chance of a shower thunderstorm tomorrow. As we get into Tuesday, there may be enough cold air aloft and instability to create a shower or thunder shower. But most of Tuesday will be dry, but I can't rule it out on Tuesday. Maybe about a 20 percent chance of that. And then we'll see partly cloudy skies on Wednesday with quiet conditions. How much rainfall are we talking about? Our European forecast model throughout tomorrow to about 6 p.m. Tomorrow shows us about a quarter to a third of an inch. Again, we're not getting caught up on exact totals here. We're looking for continuity. This is the GFS model showing us about a quarter of an inch or less. So I think probably another quarter to a third of an inch is going to be in the cards for a lot of us. Maybe not all of us, but a lot of us as we go through tomorrow. 74 tomorrow with the scattered showers and maybe a rumble of thunder. 73 on Tuesday. A shower is possible. Maybe a rumble of thunder, but most of us will stay dry. There's only about a 20% chance of that. We're in the mid 70s on Wednesday, upper 70s on Thursday. Then we get back into the 80s on Friday with more heat and humidity and mid 80s as we get into this upcoming weekend. So turn off the AC, give it a break and enjoy the next few days as we say hello to the first full week of August. Went by fast. Janice.
Really did. It feels like it was just March. <laughs> Kevin, thank you.